Hi, my name is Joe. In the previous video, we looked at how to create a custom post type for our cooking website. But what does a cooking website need? Well, recipes, of course. But before we add any, we first need to create the custom fields to allow us to separately input the important things every recipe needs, such as ingredients and steps to actually make the recipes. Let me show you how. Here we have one of the recipes we'll be adding to our cooking website. As you can see, it has a number of sections with information which budding chefs will need to know to help them follow the instructions. These are the prep time, cook time, yield, nutrition facts, ingredients and instructions. Every recipe on our website will have this set of information. So we want to create a section with these fields which will be easy to fill in. We do this by creating a group of custom fields. First, we click on Dashboard under the Toolset menu. We can now see the recipe's custom post type we created in the previous video. Now we click on Add Custom Fields. What you now see is a grid of all the types of custom fields we can create. We can use them to create fields for videos, checkboxes, telephone numbers and many other types of information. Our first custom field is for the prep time. This will be a number of minutes, so we'll click the number custom field. Now let's add the information. Under field name, we enter the name of the custom field, which is prep time. The slug is created automatically. We can also add a description of the custom field, a placeholder in case we do not have the information and a default value. We will leave these blank for now. Because this custom field will need to be filled out for every recipe, we will tick the required checkbox under validation. Now that we have all the information we need, we click add new field and we can move on to the next one. Let's quickly add the other custom fields. And here you have it. These are all the custom fields that will appear for every recipe we add. Notice how we have made the instructions to be a what you see is what you get custom field, as we'll be adding a lot of information here. We now click save field group on the far right and our custom fields have been saved to the recipe's custom post type. Now, when we edit or create recipe posts, we can see all of our custom fields. Once we add our information for this recipe, we can click publish it and it is ready to be displayed on the front end. In the chapter about displaying custom types, we'll show you how to display your recipes complete with custom fields on the front end. But for now, you should be able to create your own custom fields and add them to your WordPress admin on the back end. Next, it's time to start thinking about how we can organize our recipes into separate categories. To do this, we'll need to create custom taxonomies. We'll show you how in the next video.